Today we'll be going over how to properly wash your PowerRock T45 and PowerRock T35. Specifically, if you're receiving a new machine like this one, more than likely it'll be received with a lot of cosmoline on it. The cosmoline is sprayed on the machine when it's transported overseas to make sure that no rust or the salt water from the sea gets to it. You just want to use a gentle degreaser on it and scrub it immediately so you don't fade the paint. But as you can see, this one has a lot on it. Another small point to make, just like when you're washing your car at home, a golden rule of thumb is you always want to start from the top and work your way down. It's important to keep your drill as free of buildup as possible. This will help keep down on wearable items as dust and dirt and contaminants on the feed can wear out items faster than they normally would. A uh, good rule of thumb is every 10 to 15 hours or as needed. When pressure washing the inside of the enclosure, you want to be very careful not to spray the electrical cabinet here or your electrical cabinet here with too much water. These are sensitive electronics and they're not designed to get too wet. Additionally, you're also going to want to make sure you stay away from spraying water directly into the exhaust of the engine, especially if it's running. This is not designed to have water go inside it and the engine will be damaged. As always, if you have any other questions, you can always reference your operations manual for the machine or contact your local service center.